It was a frustrating end to Borough's Cup tie at West Ham. It was a game they really should have won. Leading the game for 60 minutes, the game should have been tied up. But West Ham got a late equaliser, and how many times have we seen that happen this season? Six times, in fact, away from home alone. And it's, uh, it's a frustrating reoccurrence, especially as the West Ham equaliser came from a set piece again. I thought Borough did enough to win the game on the day. They worked very hard, uh, reasonably solid otherwise in defence. The midfield played much better than it's done for a long, long time. And uh, there were chances up front. And overall, it was a good away performance. One lapse and it cost them dearly. Still got it all to do. They should really be in the last eight now. They're not. They've got, to, they've got to take on West Ham again next week. And, of course, they now know that they're away at Everton if they get through another daunting prospect. But if you're going to win the Cup this year, bearing in mind the fact the big guns are more or less all there, uh, you clearly got to do it the hard way. And why not? Let's, let's get past West Ham, go to Everton and, and give a good account of ourselves. I think if the Borough team continues to play in the same manner then they've got every chance of giving anybody a good game. Uh, one of the things about the uh, team selection at West Ham was the fact that Stuart Downing was in the hall. Um, it, was a, it was a role that Gareth Southgate gave him a few weeks ago in which he did very well and then all of a sudden it ended for no obvious reason. Thrown in there again and really caused West Ham lots of problems with his runs from deep. I think uh, given the right opposition and the right moment, uh, Downing can do very well in that role. Possibly, bearing in mind that he's had some up and down games on the left this season, possibly that's his best position at the moment. So why not leave him there for as long as possible to see how it goes? It does mean, of course, that you're effectively taking a, a striker out of the team. So uh, I would imagine that the way in which Southgate uh, prepares for games, carefully picks his, his team, it's probable that Downing won't be there on a regular basis. But whenever it's effective, it's very effective, as it was at West Ham. Quite clearly the best player, did a great job, kept West Ham stretched, and uh, generally uh, played in front of what I thought was the best midfield performance for a long, long time. Didier de Gars now come back fully fit again and uh, he's really getting stuck in there. He's winning challenges he probably shouldn't be expected to win. He's setting pressure off his own defenders by doing that and he's sparking attacks. I, I do find it a bit frustrating in the way that Didier gives the ball away a bit too often but it's something he can learn from. He's, he's still trying too many t long balls but he, he's very effective with a short ball. Uh, he knows what the game's all about. He's fitting in nicely and I think uh, he's proven to be very good by. Nice to see Julio Arca come back as well. Didn't get through the full game. His first game for a while uh, we'll, we'll be blowing a bit at the end but uh, I thought he did a good job and uh, with Gary O'Neill uh, back in his old role on the right and again being effective I thought that midfield wise it was very steady with, and when you've got Josh Walker waiting in the wings and of course Matthew Bates has done so well uh, perhaps in midfield things are moving in the right direction especially as Adam Johnson's taken full advantage of his role on the left what the re what the replay creates, of course, for Borough is is three home games in eight days, starting uh, with the league game against Wigan Athletic on Saturday. Uh, West Ham will then come uh, t for the replay to the Riverside the following Tuesday, following by the visit of Liverpool the following Saturday. Uh, three big games, really. Um, we're all saying that uh, Wigan is a must-win game. I'm not sure whether these games are definitely must win at the moment, but three points would be certainly very, very useful. It's important that Borough try and get out of the bottom three as quickly as possible. And a home game against Wigan is one of those you would expect to win. Nice to see uh, Lee Catamore back here. I'm sure that will add an extra edge, may even lift the Borough midfield again uh, to higher heights. So um, I'm sure that's going to be a very competitive part of the pitch as it all will be, we're going to have improved considerably this season. Um, so I think we'll have a good game in store. Of course, there'll be no Mido, as he's not allowed to play in the game. Uh, and uh, uh, neither is Marlon King, because uh, obviously of the swap loan deal, so to speak. Um, could do with a goal from Alves, of course. We could do a goal, goal from Alves in all the games. He's certainly uh, been picking up seven, seven shots at West Ham, which I thought was pretty good. Not all of them were 
pretty good shots, but having said that, he, he, he probably deserved a goal, and as long as he keeps getting the positions, you would believe the goals have got to come. Uh, whether the same team will be selected against West Ham, we'll, we'll have to wait and see. I can imagine Southgate being tempted to uh, leave one or two out against West Ham, but uh, it will all depend on what knocks, what bumps and bruises are picked up against Wigan. That's the main one, that's the one to concentrate. And I think despite the fact that confidence was hit in some respects by the, giving away the late equaliser at West Ham. I, th I think uh, Southgate will make sure that everybody's fully primed up and I think we'll see uh, a decent performance against Wigan. In fact, we have to see a decent performance.